Hold up. Hey yo, Finn here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, um, yeah, um, uh, decided to record two, two videos for now, so, yep, this is one of them. One is Doki Doki Literature Club, and then Minecraft, so, um, please forgive me, I've been really, really tired for the whole day, and still need more time to edit these two, and then be on with it, so, <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna continue off where we left off in the uh, the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, which is right now. And um, the previous video, if you haven't watched already, please check it out. Um, the previous Doki Doki Literature Club is, well, a, a long video, I'll tell you that, like one hour long. So, I'm not really sure if, gonna, if I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, but we'll see. So, uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure if this is going to be another one hour video or stuff like that, so we're gonna continue off, like I said, um, I said that for the third time, but we're gonna help off with uh, with Yuri and not so sure about Sayori, but this is going to be another heartbreaking or some, some disturbing thing, so again, like I said, if you're under 13 or stuff like that, please, you're not welcome here, like really, this game isn't for you, so just, just go some, just go watch something else. I'm warning you, so I, I, I don't get blamed for this. So before we begin this episode, be sure to uh, leave a like, share it with a friend, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It really does help me out, and click on the bell notification on what videos I upload. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see right in. So you guys know what time it is. What time is it? It's Doki Doki time. <laughs> Alright, so now we're in front of my house. Yep, this is definitely my the uh, uh, MC's house, so... As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. And oh, uh, Yuri is in her, uh, her sweater. That's, that's uh, a bit nice. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I just started to get r really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I have known, I, sh I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should have been, it should have been common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you have brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me anxious. Oh, I got some some books there and stuff like that. All right, it's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no, it would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrists. Wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah, yes. Uh. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other as atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, atmotherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned you planned on taking that taking it that far. Of course. I wanted to help our take our guests out to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, huh. intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? It makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. 
was gonna use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wind cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in the back black in, in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be very neat. R really neat. What's a wooden thing though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with arom aromatherapy? Oh, aromatherapy, okay. Uh, aromatherapy, um... I'm not really sure if I had that before or something, but it's, um, it's, it's actually good, I'd say. Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it per per permeate through your body. Huh, that's uh, very interesting. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and switch and pushes the switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole at the top. Oh, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. You choose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be a perfect that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. Aww. <laughs> she again reaches reaches to her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. And then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbon to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Finn. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. And then she reaches to her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? Pot the knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Knives. Knives. I like swords. Sabers, at least. So, <laughs> yeah, just to share. And, um, knives are good, but well, they can't beat against swords, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I can quote on that, but alright. So, you do you, Yuri. I, I, uh, I respect you. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Oh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, it's well, and it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? 
Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife, I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I can f I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Finn, why did you do that? I didn't expect, expect it to be that sharp. Oh my goodness, that is why I don't use use knives. I don't I don't play with knives at all because I really don't want to cut myself. Except scissors, I guess, but again, I, I really don't want to play with knives. Like, man, that was, that was very scary, so... You know what, let's uh, save it right here. There we go. I barely touched it at all. It, it's my fault. I shouldn't have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no, a small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I need an instinct to pull my hand back. Why? After a rough game of Minecraft Egg Wars, why this? <laughs> this thing is all kinds of weird, really. But okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Aw, she's embarrassed. Aw, Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I done do something like that? I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, sure, it was a little weird, but it took me by surprise. But I guess she was trying to... I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. Maybe she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon. Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return! No! No! No, 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 no. No. Finn, did you just really do that? Now we're even. Uh, Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Finn. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, I don't think I need one actually. It it was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. But the tension is quickly lifted. Oh my goodness, that is so flippin' embarrassing. Why? Why am I doing that? It's a game. I know. It's just a game. But still. Why? Why? Alright, moving right along. We each resume our respective activities. I want you to use knife caught through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Okay... Hours later, blah blah blah, after we finished attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. Looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked, had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about 6 cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. 6 cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be diluted. Alright. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? <coughs> I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve. Uh, 
pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. Well, as for her sleeve, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot in the room or something, or maybe it's just her um, cuts, I'm, I'm not sure. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on the opposite side so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when paint. Right. My voice feels a little bit raspy right now, so I might as well have to go out, get some water, so just gonna be right back guys, so don't worry. lot better now I can speak properly now I can speak properly now I can speak all right let's continue on this kind of reminds me of elementary school painting on a banner with watercolor feels like a lot of the art class projects we had back then it's relaxing ah I'm sorry if this feels too childish no I didn't mean that at all it's kind of fun you know yeah it is fun I'm glad you feel that way too Yuri stops painting for a moment thinking to herself for me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I, s I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Anime and games. Anime and games. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anime and games. I'm overreacting right now, like really. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah there. <laughs> I think I feel the same way. He responds gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. <laughs> but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Cat, I'm so sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just started me, that's all. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? You accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. Aww! Oh, that, that, uh, that's a, uh, that, that cute moment there, I guess. Not definitely cute because I definitely don't want to get in trouble for that, so we'll save that. Here. I pat down Yuri's face with the neck and with the towel. Uh, is there something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, eh? Just for a little longer. It really, it feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand on t still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Aww. Alright, it's an intense expression that I recognize when 
recognized from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in the days and held by her own thoughts. She breathes gently half through slightly parted lips. <coughs> I'm sorry. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Three gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was um, just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been a feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movement seems clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, ignore to, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Alright, that should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking the banner as a whole, it was it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, Perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then you can bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts, is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a bit a little bit? No, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I needed to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well, um, Yuri thinks to herself, I think it would be too ir irresponsible for, of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to be a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out of the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have much as time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forgot you don't like going out much. I, as I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so you're really, you're very thoughtful, Finn. Yuri takes a step closer to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. Whoa! What? Okay, that that, that kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> that was a little bit closer. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? <coughs> but I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori? Eh? Ah! Hi f Oh! Sayori! Hello! Okay. Save that there. <coughs> ah, sneezies. What am I thinking? I'm so sorry. Okay, we got Sayori here. Now I think we're in trouble, maybe. But not in front of the cute cinnamon bun. Just now we weren't. <laughs> it's okay, Finn. I just stopped by to say hi. Um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so so that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Haha, <laughs> well... I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really being mean to me. 
so I had to come over and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri, and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Ah. Uh, Sayori, please don't, don't cry in front of my face. That you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Finn? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Oh no. No. Why? What? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Finn. If it wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? The Sayori. What I said before was true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden in your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I won't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you won't feel any more pain. But, but, Saria looks away. I put on a hand on her shoulder to uh, reassure her. I'm scared, Finn. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Finn, I like you so much that I want to die. No, 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 Sayori. Sayori. You know, let's save right here, just for safety measures. Sayori, yes, I know what you're, what you're feeling, but please, no. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Ridlessly, Sayori nods. Even you don't understand all of your own feelings. I know what you need the most right now. <coughs> Why did I burp? I'm sorry guys. I'm so full I just had so much food in my lunch and stuff. That's why and I got so tired. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Sayori, I love you. You'll always be my dearest friend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think it's about to start now. The choices. Alright, alright, alright. I'm definitely sure this will definitely be of the longest episode of Doki Doki Literature Club so far. Even if it reaches for like one hour or two hours, doesn't matter. I'm going for it. Even if this really scares me. Stuff like that. I'm going to take it. Because again, I started this series for a reason. I just really want to play this game on myself. For myself. I love you. You'll always be my dearest friend. Of course! I, I, I love you, Sayori. I love you. Eh? Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending with time with, spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day. It helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll, I'll accept any of her burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side, then I know we'll be both happy. Finn. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Oh my goodness. You know what? Uh, here, let's put it right here. Oh my goodness, poor Sayori. Finn, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Finn. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? 
I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? You're not going away at all, Finn. It's okay, Sayori. It may take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey Finn. Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me, but I'm having as much as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I'm, I can comfort, comfort her. I keep wondering if I, could, if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Yeah, yeah, a happy future with her is good. I mean, really. You should. It's the day of the festival. All, of all days I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but that but decided that's a little bit too much. Meanwhile, the prepar preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Finn, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought I th Huh, that's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is p is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones prepared that have all the poems we're performing. Oh yeah, I think it is. <laughs> In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. That's odd. I, I thought Sayori was supposed to be with me. That's that's a, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? Anywho. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. Wait. You think that days on... You think that on days like... This important, she tried a little harder. Harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel all awful knowing that it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just get my water real quick. Hmm, that's weird. <coughs> I'm not in the best shape right now. I guess a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Also, it's kind of creepy without the music, though, so that's that's really bad. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. You should take a little responsibility for her, Finn. I mean, especially with, especially after your exchange with her yesterday, you kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange, Monica. You know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all, but... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about that quickly? That we're a couple now? 
I really, I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. Wait a minute. Did Monica just said hanging? Left her hanging? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost a professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different than the, from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. So we got a percent there. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never f actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I f get a pit in my stomach. Finn? What's wrong? Ah, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that... I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. <coughs> What was I thinking? I should I should have tried a little bit harder harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect the answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a deep, heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That is really something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. Why am I feeling so heavy right now? I don't have a weak heart. I can do this. I really didn't want to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say yo. What is going on? Sayori. An exception has occurred. Game file game. Oh my. What the hell? What the heck? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. 
That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. What? I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori that I would be there for her. I told her I knew what's best and that everything would be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I help? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her even feel worse? Well, I don't know. I mean, you two were childhood friends. I mean, you've been together for years now and then this this makes makes it even feel worse. My my glob. <sighs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared after that. Oh my glob. <coughs> Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it was, it always has been, then I could have re prevented this. I knew I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only... I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still won't, couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 And Whoa, what? What's going on here? Sayori's so been replaced by a Monica Natsuki glitch. That's odd. Should we do it? I feel like I really want to end the episode right here, but I think we should definitely keep going just for safety measures. Like, I really want to see the bottom of this, really. Even if I've seen videos of it online, I just really want to see this in person. Okay. Uh, Monica Natsuki, um, I cannot see any glimpse of Sayori in there somewhere, but I can I mean, there's some mix of um, Yuri in there, but that's really weird. So I guess it's down to these three now, so... Alright. What? Blank. A bunch of letters. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Weird. Um, also, did you notice that that the uh, the music was very distorted when I started the game? <coughs> that girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh my god. Wait, I think I think we can. Crud. My save files. Huh, weird. You know what? Sure, why not? Okay, you know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works because you've known for each other for so long. We used to work to school each other on days like this, but starting frequently. I think we already already read this in the beginning of, of episode 1 of Doki Doki. If she's going to chase me. After me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sighed and idled in front of the crosswalk and let... 
catch up to me. What the? What? All right. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I always walk to school alone. I, al I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. <coughs> I'm perfectly content on content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club. But it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. School day is ordinary as ever, uh, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There are really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Finn? Oh! Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah. Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. And my safe state is lost again, but alright. Okay, just to make sure. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? <coughs> oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check and check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Okay, it's still there. Thank lord. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prefer for events. I'd rather, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club? Literature? It's, that sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for, or for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. That's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Like I said in my previous Doki Doki Literature Club video, um, I had a lesson in my school and uh, manga has been featured in our literature class. So yeah, that's, that's definitely literature, so... Yeah. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey Finn, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there anything chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me very, really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no choice to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Finn. Sweet Finn, you know that? It's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. They're more important. And thus, today marks this marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I'll make sure. Okay. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for the third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Eh? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't need me, Nautiki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Finn. All words escape me in this situation. 
this club is full of incredibly cute girls. I already said that, I'm not gonna do that again. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Finn in a, in, a, in a classroom and decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry, I didn't forget that. But I just happened to run into him. Alright, let's save that, but... You know what, guys? Yeah, I, I, I'm done. I'm, I'm officially done. I'm just gonna end it. Here. Okay, guys, so that's the end of today's episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. And hopefully, I don't get in any trouble in this one whatsoever. But might as well risk it, as because um, maybe some of you guys have been looking forward to the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. So here you go. But man, Sayori. Might have to do something a little bit different later on, right after I'm done with this game. So, um, anywho, before I end this video right here, be sure to leave a like, share it with a friend, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it really does help me out, and uh, click on the bell notification on what videos I upload. So, uh, yeah, I definitely need to take a break from all this. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay awesome. Love you all. Finn the Diamond Knight signing off. See you guys next time.